breaking news tonight, America shuts down. The president issues new guidelines to slow the spread. No more than 10 people at social gatherings. It's bad, but we're going to be hopefully a best case, not a worst case. Empty offices, streets deserted, bars and restaurants closed. San Francisco orders everyone to shelter in place. 36 million children home from school. How long could this last? Stock shock. Trading halted again. The markets plummet as fears of massive job losses rise. Who will be hurt most? And will it widen the gap between rich and poor? Urgent plea. Medical professionals on the front lines beg for protective equipment. At least two emergency room doctors are in critical condition after being infected. Race for a vaccine. We get a close-up look at the effort to ramp up testing and develop a vaccine. Life under quarantine. Our Rome correspondent Seth Doan shares his story, what life is like with the virus. Plus, we speak with Dr. Burks of the president's coronavirus task force, why she says millennials are the key to getting through the crisis. And closed for business, a restaurant has become a kitchen for the whole community. Just one example of Americans helping each other in a time of need. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We're going to be in with that breaking news tonight. Sweeping new guidelines from the White House designed to slow the rapid spread of coronavirus. Wall Street took a beating. The Dow fell about 3,000 points, its largest one-day point drop in history.